Ada, we do not have a lineup for Cinder Hill. Um, want to apologize first. Our scoreboard on our live stream tonight will be um, not available. We had some technical difficulties. But I'm going to start with our lineup for our JV game first. Uh, number nine, DeAndre Rimmers playing center field, batting first. Batting second, number 29, Harper Newcomb. He's playing second base. Batting third, number 18, Tanner Fowler. He's playing shortstop. Batting fourth, number 23, Lane Gillen. He's playing left field. Batting fifth, number 28, Paxton Searle. He is playing catcher. Batting sixth, number 32, Carson Renfro. He is the EH. Number 26, Keaton Patton is batting seventh. He's playing first base. Number 24, Nelson Downs is another EH. <clears throat> batting ninth, number 25, Heston Hatcher. He is playing third base. And batting 10th, number 21, Bryson Arbuckle. He is playing right field. Um, I got Alan Lee. He is on the call with me today or on the live stream for the JV game. So me and him are going to cover this game, and I think me and Matt Searle are going to cover the varsity game. Matt's sitting here running the computer for us this game. How are you doing, Alan? I'm good. Nice long drive up here, but hey, we're here. That's correct. That is correct. It's about an hour and 35 minutes or something like that. Yep. So, but so if, you're, if you're just now tuning in in Grenada, hey, you got time to get to the varsity game tonight if you leave right now. That's exactly right. <laughs> come on out. Or come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Well, Alan, do you want to go ahead and take a short commercial? No, they think they're fixing to throw yeah, the ball down they, the second. Yep, they're fixing to kick it off. Looks like kind of cloudy with a chance of rain, but I didn't think it was supposed to rain this evening. Well, I don't know if you just noticed this, but I hope that pole in left center field comes on. Yeah, if it's if they hadn't flipped the switch, I hope they go ahead and do that. Yeah, because it is. The one behind the home dugout's not on either, so maybe those two are on the same switch. <laughs> yeah. So. But we are fixing to get the first pitch started. And like I said, we're going to have to do a good job tonight of keeping everybody updated with the scoreboard, our score and the count and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like we got DeAndre Rimmer stepping in first for us, Allen, and let's see what DeAndre can do. Well, he hits a fly ball to right field. Right fielder had to make a long run, and Rimmer is going to come in to second, standing up with a double. That's a good way to start it for the yeah, Chargers. Yeah, that, that's a good good hit for DJ. I mean, just dropped in in the right fielder. He couldn't do anything with it. Wind kind of messed with it a little bit. Yeah, it's somewhat a little windy here. Yep. Well, that's going to bring up our second baseman, number 29, Harper Newcomb. Let's see what Harper can do. Harper's been swinging the bat well in JV games for us all season long. Yep. Maybe he can continue that because a single here is going to score Rimmer from second. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Rimmer's not standing on third. If if they give him a couple of pitches, he's he's probably going to be standing on third here in just a minute. Uh, probably so. Pitch comes set up. Oh, he's going to do an inside move there. They probably know Rimmer well. They probably remember him last year from the playoffs. Yeah. We played a three-game series with him, first round of the playoffs. Harper hits a ground ball to the third baseman. Uh, it was a, a high throw. He umpire called him out. He probably come down on the base, but it looked like he was juggling the ball. It was coming down to me. But but needless to say, it's one out. Runner at second for the Chargers. Well, we two pitches we've seen. We, yeah. We've hit them. Not get, jumping on it early, not giving them a chance to see what the pitcher's got. <laughs> breaking ball. Yep, breaking ball for ball one. Tanner playing short today. Tanner is playing shortstop. Yes, sir. Fastball, foul straight back. Hope it don't hit our camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if the ball comes up there, y'all make sure to uh, protect the camera. Yep. The one ball, one strike, one out. Another inside move. ball in the dirt. I can tell you one thing, Alan, if, if the ball gets by the catcher <laughs> in any game, yeah. 
a lot of recent guys getting two bases. Yeah. Because that catcher's really got to hustle back here. Yeah, it's a, it's a mile and a half from home plate to the backstop. That's a good hit. Good hit. Single to left field. We're gonna have a lot. We might have a play to play. I don't. So that's a good start for the Chargers. Tanner hits a single to left field in between the third baseman and shortstop. Gives us a one to nothing lead. That's gonna bring up number 23, Lane Gillen, and Lane is playing left field for us today. Yeah, Lane has been playing left field the last several games after coming back from injury the first part of the year. Yep. He started out on pretty hot, on hitting the ball really well. Yeah. That was a good first strike from their pitcher. It's an 0 1 count, one out, top of the first. We're up one to nothing. Tanner takes off. Oh, I don't know. He he stole that base. He yeah. throw got past the short, uh, second baseman, and Tanner was going to try it, but I'm glad he didn't. Yep. What was that pitch? I think it was 2-1 one count. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. Oh, one, one, excuse me. Ooh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> As they used to tell us in, in Mississippi State, Allen. If you get back, back by a fingertip, you can, you're at the perfect lead. Uh, yeah. That was a really good pickoff move, though. Really quick. Like another breaking ball. Well, it looked like the light, light pole and left center come on. And the one at home plate, so yeah. we're good. Yep. <laughs> good take. Yep, that was a great take. That's a three-win count. One out. Charges up one to nothing. Top of the first. Lane hits the fly ball to right field. Tanner's tagging. It's a heck of a throw. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. We got in there. That was a really good throw by that right fielder. I didn't know if it was going to be that close or not, but he – a little more online, he, we might have a shot. Yep. Or he would have had a shot, not us. Well, that brings up number 28 catcher today, Paxton Searle, with two outs. Gotta have it, let's go. As you hear his dad <laughs> sitting beside me. Starts him off with ball one. Spin it, Breaking ball there. Make it 2 0 count. It's a good looking breaking ball. He's looking like he started more inside the center of the plate. Yeah. Good job of Paxton there for laying off of it. Yeah, Paxton's got a good eye. Doesn't, doesn't swing at a lot of bad pitches. Oh, he got the fastball. Just, he missed, just missed it. it. Well, Allen, we got one on two hits. Two hits, yep. So we got one run on two hits, top of the first, and Chargers are going to take the field. And when we come back, we'll let you know who's pitching, and we'll go from there. So let's hear another word from our sponsors. I'm Robbie. And I'm Paul. And we're here at Wine on a Tractor and Equipment. Well, guys, with spring approaching, we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up. These guys can enjoy every bit of that. Yeah. Every bit of it, knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a Kubota Zero Turn. Right here, baby. If you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her, after yep. she's been mowing all day comfortably yep. on a Kubota Zero Turn, yep. Get on any of our Kubota RTVs 
and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right for you where you'll have enough money left over at the end of the week to take her out for all her hard work. Well, folks, when you think about a tractor for your wife, remember, think wine on a tractor and equipment. Well, Alan, <coughs> let Paul Black sell a few more orange tractors. Yeah. You know. They're not, they're not that pretty green, but, you know. Well, hey, competition makes everybody better. <laughs> in matter in business or in life or playing baseball. <coughs> well, Alan, we got Hayden Lee is on the mound. I think you might know this young man. Yeah. Know a little bit about him. So he's been working on his mechanics a little bit and they decided to give him a shot here in the JV game today. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, everybody needs practice. There's no doubt about it, no matter what level they are at. So this first pitch from Hayden. My ball outside. I can't really see their number of the batter. I think he's number six. Yeah, number six. Can't, I don't know a name. But he's got six. a name on top. Maybe we'll catch it when he runs. But I'm pretty sure he's pretty swifty, being the leadoff hitter. Yep. That's a ball high. It's 2-0 count. Bottom of the first, Chargers are leading one to nothing. Scored one at the top of the first. That's... Not a bad pitch there. Yeah. If he'd gotten something closer on the first two, he might have gotten a call on that one. Yeah. Still, though, I mean, that was about belt high. That's 3 0 count. Well, that's a good pitch. Get in there. 3 1. Foul ball. Paxton's going to have some room. He can get over and hustle over and get over to it. Be cool. play. <clears throat> well, one ally, ally, I will tell you one thing. We played in, at Lewisburg. We played at Lake Comorant. We played here. I think the same person designed all three <laughs> baseball fields because all three of them have about, about as, a, another field within foul territory. Yeah. So, that was a good pitch right there. That guy wanted it, but. Puts him on first. Nobody hurt. Hey, we still one pitch away from a double play right here. Brings up number 26 for center heel. Guy takes a pretty decent lead. Oh, Hayden sails that one into, into the fence over there, and they're going to run for days after it. Just what I just said. <laughs> enough foul territory for another field, enough ter area for another field and foul territory on all three of those parks. Hey, we all right still. So it's an 0 0 count. Hayden goes from the wind up runner at third here. Good pitch. Well, I guess call the strike right there. So starts this batter off 0 1. Foul ball. Just foul. It was just foul. I don't know if people on live stream can see it, but we got two scoreboards one in left field and one in right center, but only one is working. So. 0-2 count, no yeah. outs. I remember coming up here last year thinking, uh, kept watching that one in the left field. I was like, why is that scoreboard not working? <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally saw the one in right field. That was a good chase pitch there by Hayden. See if he'd offer at it. Nothing wrong Nothing wrong with that. Brings the count to one ball, two strikes. A nice lot. Foul ball straight back. Allen, a strikeout here would be, It'd be guess, huge. It'd be huge. Look like our infield is playing back. They're going to swap a run for an out here, which that's fine. Early in the game. Yep, early in the game. But a strikeout here would 
help the cause even more. I'm breaking ball. It was a little up. Yeah, started a little too high. Two two count, or is it full count? Uh, two two. Two two. Nope. That makes it full. There's another breaking ball out. Yeah, he's got to find that curveball. <clears throat> he's gonna find it. He'll find it when he needs it the most. Here's your pitch. Ooh. Mm. That was a good way to come inside right there. It was a pretty good pitch. Well, we got runners at first and third, no outs. Bottom of the first brings up number 19 for center heel. Last name looks like to be Warren. Is that right? That looks what I oh. see. Well, let's see what kind of first and third play we have here. Like a showing bunt. That was a good pitch by Hayden there. Way to get ahead. That coach is over giving signs, but the batter never looked at him. <laughs> Don't mean nothing. That was a good good decision there by Hayden. Kind of keep him honest. Called a balk. Called I guess. a balk. On a left-handed pitcher. How? Is that even possible? I don't know if he knows what he's talking about. You get 45 degrees, Blue. But anyway, it ties us up one to one. Hayden's in the count 0-1. Who's the runner to second? I don't see how he has really an angle there where he's at to see that. But So it's 1-1 one, one count, bottom of the first. I can come set. Here's your pitch. pitch. Another good pitch there. Makes it a 1-2 count. Strike him out, throw him out here would be awesome. It'd that, help the calls. Well, yep. Look at runner. He about the same lead as the last time. Yeah. That was a foul ball. He just barely touched that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was to be a yeah, it's going to be a strikeout. Yeah, it was a really good pitch. One two count Nine from the shortstop. Here comes the one two pitch. Here comes that. Here's the pitch. Like a fastball up. Two two. It's those non verbal communications from Tanner, Tanner. And Short. Like a foul ball, I think Heston's going to be all over that one. Oh, he, oh, he dropped, dropped it. it. Hit him right in the palm. Yep, had he, he had settled under it, and I think he moved his feet at the last minute and kind of yep. messed him up. We'll do it again, 2-2 two, two count. Yep. Let's see. He can come set with this 2-2 two, two pitch right here. Nice. That's a good pitch. It strikes him out. So that gets us one out in the bottom of the first. Brings up number 29. I think it was Ross. For center heel. Bottom of the first. One to one. One out. That's going to be a foul ball out of play. Good job of Hayden coming out and getting ahead right there on that first pitch. He sure does like his fishing the rain, but I don't think it is. No. Good 
good call. Strike two. Strike two. Must have broke way inside. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see. You don't have the angle like we do in Grenada. Right. Way ahead in the count here. Yep. <clears throat> That's a good-looking curveball there. Yeah, he just barely got a piece of it. Yeah, batter fouls it off. <laughs> so we got an 0-2 count, runner at second, one out, bottom of the first. The Mustangs and the Chargers are tied at one apiece in the JV game right here. Fastball, like a fastball, maybe a change up inside. It's nice waist pitch, yep. try to get him to chase. That is correct. Which brings the count to two and two. <laughs> Hayden gets the sign. Come set. There's your pitch. Yeah, yeah. Guy, yep, the guy hits a line drive over Keaton's head. Should bring a runner in. We have to relay the second. Guy's going to be in there with a double. Scores one, so now the score is two to one. Center heel, one out, bottom of the first. I guess going to get a visit from Coach Cox. So with that, we'll just, we're going to hear a word from one of our sponsors. times in life we find ourselves in need we call upon the help of our closest friends and family as your local farm bureau insurance agent i want to be on that list i'm from right here in grenada and i'm here to help you and your family during your time of need my name is matt mccroy give me a call today at 662-418-5897 for a quick auto home or life insurance quote and to find out more about how we at farm bureau insurance can help save you time and money go chargers For over 20 years, Oil Man Supply has proudly served the Grenada community and the South with its lubricants and automotive supplies. We provide services for all your agricultural, commercial, industrial. All right, Alan, we're back. That's going to bring up, <clears throat> we had a pitching change. They brought in Tanner Fowler off a of short, moved Harper to short stop, and Chris Cole is now playing second base for Grenada. We got one out, the bottom of the first. I didn't catch his batter's number when he came. Nine. Came. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Here's a pitch from Tanner. It was high ball one. Center Hill is up two to one, bottom of the first here. Tanner comes set. He hits a ball that Chris Cole. They call him safe. Uh, it's a mighty, may did, but it was a lighty late, late call. Yeah. <clears throat> so that would be an infield hit for Center Hill. It's got runners at first and third again with one out, and they're up two to one, bottom of the first. Bring up number 25. Tanner's on the hill. Gets his sign from Paxton. Comes set. Runner takes off. Oh, oh. had him on the throw. Yeah, we we had him on the throw there. The ball got there right before the runner did and hit Harper in the glove and it's got out in center field with a runner at third to score. So that makes it three to one center hill. Still got one out, bottom of the first. That was a 
They called that a ball on the pitch. And they got a runner. So 2 0 count here. That was a good pitch. 2 1 now to number 25. Tanner toes the rubber. 2 1 count. Here's your 2 1 pitch. He hits a chopper to Heston. Heston looks the runner back. He throws across. We get that out there. The runner does not advance on the ground ball. So we got two outs now. Bottom of the first. Runner at second for center hill. Brings up number 14 for center hill. find this out right here and just go and get top of the second let's hit yeah need to get a couple runs back right here so it's number 14 steps in against Tanner runner second two outs a good pitch right there by Tanner 0-1 count, strike one. Tanner comes set here for the 0-1 pitch. Like a breaking ball up. I thought he was just going to call it too. <laughs> he like he finna raise that arm. Yeah, big I mean, looping breaking ball. Brings the count to one and one. Two outs, bottom of the first. One one count. Oh, hit Tanner him. hits with the fastball. So that puts runners on first and second, two outs. Bottom of the first with center here leading three to one. Brings up number seventeen for center hill. Tanner comes set. Good pitch to get ahead of him. 1-0-1 count here. <clears throat> Here's your 0-1 pitch from Tanner. So another good down, a fastball down. Makes it 0-2 on the foul ball. Yeah, making quick work of him right here. If he can just punch him out. He's working really fast. Tanner comes set on this 0-2 pitch. Hits it right, right back, back to him. Well, we we'll get the out at third. The the unusual 1-5 uh, put out. Yeah, 1-5 put out to end the inning, but hey, it works. It's still an <laughs> out. Well, with that, uh, Alan, we're going to hear our word from our sponsors yep. here. For over 20 years, Oil Man Supply has proudly served the Grenada community and the South with its lubricants and automotive supplies. We provide services for all your agricultural, commercial, industrial, and residential needs. We pride ourselves in customer service and delivery. For more information on how we can help you, call Rick Palmer at 662-417-1586 or come visit our warehouse at 31 Tuscoma Street in Hawkeye. Go Chargers! We got that that screenshot with our scoreboard on it fixed. Allen's gonna bring up number thirty-two, Carson Renfro. I think Carson's an EH today for us. So we're top of the second. 
in the JV game. Here's your pitch from number six. Carson hits the ball in, in the gap. And the center fielder is going to run in the right center field gap and make the play. Hey, hit, we hit the ball, and he just made a really good play yeah. on it. That was a nice line shot by him. And just uh, center fielder got some speed. Oh, yeah. Well, that brings up number 26, General Patton, as as Chip would call him. Yep. With a fastball outside, so no one count to Keaton. Well, thinking about these Chargers, they're going up there aggressive, ready to hit. Not seeing very many pitches. Oh, it's nothing wrong with it, but you got to sometimes get some hits in that situation. Right. It makes a very short inning. That was a breaking ball up on that pitch. Here's your 1 1 pitch. Keaton hits a line shot to the second baseman. I think he caught it on the, on the fly anyway, but he went in and threw it to first. Brings up number 24, Nelson Downs. I think Nelson is an EH today, too. EHDH. You're getting a swing to stick. That's what it matters. That's right. <laughs> Here's your first pitch to Nelson. He takes strike one. This pitcher for them, he's, he's been around the zone. Here's your second. Your 0-1 pitch. Like he... Well, he got a oh, cheap strike man. on that one. Golly. <laughs> like it was a breaking ball. It was high. Nelson ducked, but he didn't get his bat out of his way, and it fouled off of it. So this is 0-2 count. Maybe Nelson can drive on the gap right here. Mm. And he takes the inside breaking ball. Well, the Chargers go 1-2-3 in the top of the second. So with that, we're going to hear another word from our sponsors. Well, Alan, I'm going to have to give a shout-out to <clears throat> Five Star Auction. I know in a week from Saturday, April 27th, they have an auction. I think I've talked to Cameron about three times a day at work. So. <laughs> lining it up. Lining, getting it lined up. He's selling a few pieces of equipment for us that Saturday, too. So look them up on, online. I think they have an online auction, too. Well, this brings us to the bottom of the second. Tanner's still out there pitching. Center Hill's up 3-1 to one in the bottom of the second. Here's your pitch from Tanner. Good pitch. Gets in there and throws a fastball by him. 0 1 count. Here's your next pitch from Tanner. That was another good pitch. 0 <clears> 2. <throat> see what he does here. 0 2 pitch. Oh. I'll give him a check right there. Yes, sir. Oh, he called he called him out. Good job by Paxton there to to get that check on it. Yeah, I was like mad. I didn't think the umpire was even looking at it. And he was like, he's talking to the to the first base coach. I thought there ain't no way he's calling him out. <laughs> well, the, the guy the guy didn't help himself because he pushed his back shoulder on around right. there too. Yep. So 
Well, it's a good job by Tanner there in Paxton getting that strikeout. So we got one out, bottom of the second. Like a breaking ball high, high and inside. Back to the top of the water for the Mustangs. What, he walked the first time, didn't he? Uh, yes. We're going to hit a high chopper. Harper's going to have to hurry. I, I thought he had it, but like Harper let it go up on his glove yeah, there. Yeah, he, he came up on it just a little bit too quick. That was a kind of an odd hop. Yeah. I mean, it, let's go, let's go, hose him out. Probably had a little top spin on it, and that high bounce, then it hit the low bounce. Yep. He just got to figure out what bounce he wants to catch, whether to back up on it and catch the low one or not. That puts one out, it's one out runner at first here for center heel. Tanner looks over at him. Tanner steps off and picks. That's just to say, hey, I know you're the leadoff guy and you're probably going to run here. Let's see if Tanner can get Paxton a pitch to throw and hold him close and throw him out a second here. Runner takes off. Oh. oh, that throw, it kind of carried Chris on the third base side of the bag, but he caught it and it took him just far enough away that he tried to dive back in, tag him out at second. It, pretty close play there. So we got one out runner at second for center heel. There's another foul ball straight back. I hope it didn't hit my wife. <laughs> no, it hit a little girl. I think she's all right, though. I think it scared her more than anything. Well, back to the action. It's a 1-1 one, one count, one out. That was a good job by Paxson by digging that fastball there, keeping that runner at second. Good job. I'm going to be honest with you, that kid probably would make a long, wide turn at third there. Cause yeah, and even try to come <laughs> home on it. There's no doubt. The pot fly. Look, well, Chris Cole's going to be, or Harper's getting it. Good job of Harper calling him off. That's two outs. Bottom of the second. Runner on second. Center Hill leading three to one. Brings up number 19 for Center Hill. Struck out his first time at bat. Let's see if we can get him again. Yep, let's see if we can get him right here. Be good for the Chargers to hold them to this three to one lead that they have on us. The ball high. One oh count. I guess it's a 1 0 count. Yeah. Foul ball straight back. 1 1. That's a 1 1 count. The well, scoreboard's got 0 2. Yeah, somebody's not paying attention. One one count, two outs, bottom of the second. Runner at second. That's a ball high. One ball, two strikes. There's your count on your hitter. Two outs. Whoa. That was a curveball that really curved a long ways, and it had been a tough block for Paxton there. I think the wind may have even gotten a hold of it and <laughs> picked up right about that time and just. Big wall here. Let's go. Keep it in front. So the runner advances on the on the pitch. What is it two two count, Allen? Uh, I got three one. That's three one. Okay. Now ball four. So center hills got runners on first and third. Two outs. Bottom of the second brings up number twenty nine. Paxton gives his first and third signal to his infield, so they know what's got what's over. They know what's going on. Here's your pitch. Gonna be a ground ball to Chris Cole. 
Oh. Chris made the play, threw it to Keaton, hit right off the tip of Keaton's glove, bounced away, so the runner's going to be safe at first. That scores a run, so it makes it four to one. Four to one, center heel, bottom of the second. Runners at first and second. Number 22 is going to be the courtesy pinch runner. I think that might be their catcher. Brings up number nine for center heel. They're leading four to one, bottom of the second. Tanner comes set on the 0 pitch. A foul ball, ball in the spin. box. Mm. That probably hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, he's got a got an ankle guard on, but I think it missed the ankle guard altogether. Yeah. Even, if, even if it hits it, it still hurts. Yep. Yep. They're gonna give him give him a little bit of time. He pretty quick. He can step back in the box. That's an 0 01 pitch here coming. Here's your pitch from Tanner. That's ball high on check swing. 1-1 one, one count. Tanner looks in. Comes set. Here's your pitch. Like a ball out low a little bit. So it's 2-1 count. Two outs. Tanner gets the sign from Harper. He comes set. Here's your pitch. Well, this is a fly ball. Looks like Lane, hopefully Lane's going to catch it. Yep, Lane got it. So, Allen, that brings us <clears throat> into the second inning. Center Hill scored one run. I don't know how many hits they had. Uh, let's see. Had a few walks in there, I know. Yeah, had a walk, an air. It didn't have any. Uh, yeah, a couple of errors and a walk, no hits. Yep. Well, let's hear another word from our sponsor. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are all a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your ACT, you could go to Home CC for free. Do you have a 20 on your ACT? Why, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. You're right. I am shocked. You're saying my tuition could be free? <laughs> yes. And your household income does not matter. Why in the world would Holmes Community College offer free tuition with a 20 on the ACT? See, we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate. In fact, all of us here at Holmes are so committed to our students' success, we've kept our tuition, well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember. All right, Alan, we're back. Brings up number 25, Heston Hatcher. Playing third base today. Here's your pitch. Heston drives the ball to left field. Left fielder ran in and ran back and he caught the ball. That's one pitch, one out for center heel. Well, we're going up there still aggressive. We're not going to back down. Yeah, this kid pitching probably hadn't thrown very many pitches. I'm not keeping track, but, I mean, yeah, this can't be more than 25. That brings up number 21, Bryson Arbuckle. Big curveball. Starts him off with a breaking ball outside. So, 1-0 count here on Bryson. So, Bryson hit one in the gap right here. He's going to foul that one off, and Coach Cox – Uses his infield skills to make the play. Because he better be able to do it if he's teaching our infielders how to catch the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took a step back, read the hop. Another breaking ball. That's a really good one. That's a one two count now on Bryson. Wouldn't be expect to see another one right here. He's done it a little bit ago. There it is. 
Bryson hits a ground ball, short shot fills it in the hole. He throws it. Gets away. Gets away. Catcher backs the throw up, but Bryson stays there. Well, we got a runner at first, one out. That's a good start. Top yep. of the lineup, top of the order coming up with Rimmer. Huh? That's probably the internet. I don't know. Rimmer bunts it. Guy's going to have to hurry. He made a really good play. Yeah, he did. Meg, tell him to go to YouTube. Tell him. I don't know if we're coming in and out or what. Somebody just told us we're coming in and out. But he brings up number 29, Harper Nuckel. Some of you can hear it or not. Um... Text me. I got my phone sitting here looking at it. So Harper comes up. Who's your first pitch? Strike one. It's two outs, top of the third. Grenades got a runner at second, Bryson Arbuckle. 0 1 pitch here. Another breaking ball there. Just a bit outside. 1 1 count. Pitcher comes set here. Ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. Does a really good block by their catcher. See, I wonder if that. See, that's playing. All right, two-one count. Pitcher, here's the pitch. Harper hits a oh, oh. ground ball over the third baseman's head. Yeah, it looked like it kind of hit the lip there at home plate and right. took a weird hop. Yeah. It hit off his glove, but. But we got runners at the corners, and Bryson at third, Harper at first, two outs, bottom of the third. Brings up number 18, Tanner Fowler. I think Tanner hit one in the gap right here. Let's at least cut this lead in half. Pitcher looks over to Harper, looks third. Here's your pitch. Outside pitch, call strike one. Tanner wanted it, laid off, mm -hmm. called strike. Look, 0 1 count. Pitcher comes set. Here's your pitch. Swing and miss by Tanner. 0 2 count, two outs, top of third, Allen. Yeah, like, like Matt just said, we got a battle. Yep. Make it a quality at bat. Yep. Foul pitches off. Harper takes off. There's a curveball. It's swing and miss by Tanner. Well, and then it's the top of the third. We tried to score one, get a runner to third, but we just couldn't get him in. But with that, we're going to go to what word, hear a word from our sponsors. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your act you could go to home cc for free do you have a 20 on your act why yes wait 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 hold on a sec you're right i am shocked you're saying my tuition could be free <laughs> yes and your household income does not matter why in the world would homes community college offer free tuition with a 20 on the act see we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate in fact all of us here at homes are so committed to our students success we've kept our tuition well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College.
In Grenada, you might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote. And to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money, that's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. All right, Alan, we're back. Here's Tanner's first pitch. Call strike one. We're bottom of the third. Center Hill leads it four to one. Oh, one pitch. Here's your oh, two, oh, one pitch. That was a breaking ball that was behind the batter's head. Yeah, too bad we didn't get that same call. <laughs> Nelson got him in to go hit his bat. <laughs> yeah, that makes it a one one count. Ooh. Ten, uh, Newcomb's got a ch- chance. Yeah, that was yeah. a great play by yeah. Harper. Yeah, great play. That ball hit back up the middle. Kind of, I don't know, it, Tanner made a stab at it, but it kind of took a – stayed closer to the ground, and Harper come up the middle over the second, ba- ba- second base bag and fielded it clean, threw him out at first. Like we got a defensive change. Like uh, Carson is now playing first. And Nelson's behind the plate. Nelson's behind the plate. Looks like maybe Miles Ross in right field, too. Uh, Miles in right. You're right. That's a first pitch strike from Tanner. Nice curveball. Very nice curveball. 0-2 count. One out. Bottom of the third. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Another nice one. Didn't yep. bite. He didn't, he didn't swing it. It didn't offer up. 1-2 pitch. It's a foul ball. It's going to be a long run for somebody. Chris Cole. Give Chris him. Cole gave it a shot, man. Yeah. A very good shot. Yeah, I look up at the ball. I didn't think there was any <laughs> shot. And I look, up, look back down. I see Chris Cole, and he's almost under it. <laughs> yeah, that was. He was moving. Getting after it. That was a good hustle by Chris, though. One out, one two count to the batter. Here's Tanner's pitch. Breaking ball, hit him. Well, that puts the runner on first with one out. Bottom on bottom of the third. Center Hill is leading four to one. Right, we're gonna get number twenty two. It's gonna be a courtesy runner or pinch runner or something, whatever. I don't think it really matters in this JV game because I know that guy right there is playing third base. Yeah. <laughs> Brings up number 17. He uh, grounded back to Tanner last at bat. That's ball outside for making a 1 0 count. 1 0 count, one out, runner at first. Bottom of the third. Here's your pitch. Kind of got away from Nelson there, and I'm probably still called it a strike, so it's a 1 1 count. One ball, one strike, one out. Bottom of the third. Tanner comes set. Here's your pitch. That's a ball outside. Two one count to your batter. Tanner comes set. Here's your pitch. Ball three high. Three one count here. Tanner comes set. Here's your pitch. And just a little bit low. F- just a little bit low. Ball four. Not a bad miss there by Tanner. Just just a little bit low. Yeah, I will agree, Alan. It was really not a bad pitch at all. It's just a tad bit low. So that center hill's got runners at second and first. Here's your pitch by Tanner. He bunts at it. Heston better be aware that guy at second was like he was taking off there. He got to know that if he don't bunt it down hard enough, he might have to play at third. Great curveball yeah. by Tanner. Makes it an 0-2 count. 
I don't think you'll be button here. No, probably not. O2 count. Here, Tanner comes set. Here's your pitch. Good pitch. That was a great pitch by Tanner. Strike three. Comes up. Three pitches, one out. So that gives us two outs in the bottom of third. I think we're back to the leadoff guy. Back to, the, back to the top. He has reached on a walk and an error. Walking in there. So he's 0 for 1 today. Tanner, here's your first pitch. Breaking ball. Ball 1. The breaking ball has looked good. He just hadn't been able to locate it consistently. Yeah, it really has. Got a lot of bite to it. Here's your 0, 1 0 pitch. It's a foul, a fly ball with Chris Cole at second. Chris gets under it and. Records the third out. That was a good inning. We didn't didn't allow any runs, yep. so we're still getting beat four to one, going to the top of the fourth. So with that, we can come back and see if these Chargers can do something on the offensive side. So let's hear another word from our sponsors. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home. Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker, if you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. Well, Alan, we come back to the top of the fourth. We've got a new pitcher for Center Hill, number 14. That's why you got a, a courtesy, courtesy runner run. on the yep. last inning. Had to go throw a few pitches in the bullpen, get him loose a little bit. Brings up number 23, Lane Gillen for Lane, the Chargers. Lane flied out to right his first time up to bat. Flied out to right. Uh, fastball high for number 14 for center Hill. He's a true relief pitcher. He goes from <laughs> not to wind up. Nice. 2 0 count. See if he'll give Lane a fastball here. See if Lane can drive it. Hit it in that gap or hit, hit it over the fence. Ooh. That's, that's a breaking ball. It looked a little out compared to the fastball. Yeah, yeah. Pitch before that looked better than that to yeah, me. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, that pitch makes it 3 1 to Lane. Pitcher comes set. Good take. It was a good take. Ball four. This is. I think that's the first time we had the leadoff runner on since the first inning, getting it, so. Allen. Yep. Yeah, Rimmer got a, a double to lead off the game, and uh, been pretty quick work of us since then. Well, we got a run at first, no outs, top of the fourth. Come, pitcher comes set and brings up number 28, Paxton Searle. What did Paxton do his last debate? He popped it up. Paxton, yeah, flat out to short, uh, second base. Yeah, flat out to second. I think I sit here and remember Matt's reaction. I think it was a 2 0 pitch. Yep. Pitcher comes set. Mm. A little, little out there. Yeah, he I, likes that outside strike. Yeah. Well, that makes it count one and one. Pitcher turns around, looks at Lane. Paxton hits another fly ball. Like the center fielder's going to get under it. Makes for the first out of the top of the fourth. 
Brings up number 32, Carson Renfro. Center Hill leads us four to one, top of the fourth. One out, Carson up to bat. That wind is big enough. Yeah, it's continuing to get darker. The, the wind ball. is just continuing to pick up. Like, I, we might get some rain. Matt's hopefully looking at his <laughs> radar. Radar. If it's in rain, we're going to put all this stuff up. Yeah, we're not going to risk it. Well, 1 0 -oh, -oh count to Carson. Pitcher comes set. Here's your pitch. That's fastball outside. Call strike one. Pitcher comes set here on the 1 1 count. Carson hits the foul ball directly over us. Now one two count, one out. Top of the fourth. Pitcher comes set here on the one two pitch. Kind of Carson kinda of hits it off the end of the bat. No, trip pitcher tries to go to second, nobody's covering. Yep. He wanted to go there, didn't he, Allen? Yeah, but he did. Nobody was there, so he decided to take the out at first. That brings up number 26, Keaton Patton. Two outs, runner at second for the Chargers. Pitcher comes set. Fastball for strike one. How's it moving, Matt? Here's your second pitch. Fastball for strike two. I can go all around us. <clears throat> We're looking at the radar, folks, by the way. Two outs, top of the fourth. 0-2 pitch to Keaton Patton. Here it comes. Fastball, like a fastball or a curveball in. Keaton should have turned in. Yeah. Take it off the hip. His mama would rub it for him. <laughs> She'd rub it out for him. She's, she does that daily. Just what? breathe. Yep, just breathe. Get Keaton. a little free shot yep. in there. Keaton swings it probably ball two there, but for the strikeout. So we go to the bottom of the four. Well, Allen, they have called the JV game here. I think Center Hill has seniors.